like to take this opportunity to spend a couple of minutes to show you the ways that you can organize and arrange your windows in Acme. Some of the gestures are not entirely intuitive, and I don't think the documentation makes them entirely obvious, so I thought I would just show you how I work with the different windows in Acme in the hopes that it would help you with your workflow. So here I have a bunch of haphazard windows open in Acme. You can easily navigate between the windows, move the cursor between different windows, type things, run actions, as I've shown in other videos. But in this case here, I have the source code file that I want to expand. So one way you can expand it is you can kind of drag this handle on the top left up or down, to kind of resize it, which is good. But when you quickly want to just expand one particular editor, what you can do actually is left click on the little tab and it expands, expands, expands until finally it occupies most of the screen. You can do the same thing with the other windows. See, so this one here is completely minimized except for the path and the top level commands. But I can click it here and gradually make it bigger as well. So that's one thing that wasn't entirely obvious to me when I was starting to use this, but super useful. These windows are organized in a random order, just based on the order in which I opened them. Sometimes it's useful to just get them into a nice predefined order. That's where the sort command comes in. This is the column bar for the column. There is the sort action right here. So let's uh, middle click or on Mac, alt click on this. And it rearranges these windows based on their path. So it puts the shortest one at the top and then the increasingly deeper ones further down. So sometimes it's useful, you got a whole bunch of windows open, it's hard to keep track of what is what, so it can just sort of organize things for you. Next I want to show you how to scroll. So luckily in Plan 9 port and even on uh, distributions of Plan 9 itself, there's support for the scroll wheel. So on Mac here I can do a two-fingered swipe and it, it scrolls as you might expect. But that's not the only way you can scroll. Now coming from Windows and Mac and even Linux, I would kind of expect that I could click this button here and drag it up or down to scroll, but that's not how Acme scrolls. And that's not how scrolling works generally in Plan 9 either. So what I can do then is I can put the mouse in here and I can left click to go back up in the file, or I can right click to go further down in the file. Click, 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 click. So that's kind of useful. Now one thing that, again, wasn't very obvious to me when I first started using this, but I've, I've come to realize uh, is, the, is how it works, is the fact that uh, depending on where you click on this bar, it affects the speed at which it scrolls, or the, the amount it scrolls. So you can see as I'm going further down the bar, it's scrolling less, less of a distance. But if I move the cursor up to near the top, uh, in fact, it's the other way around. Anyhow, the, the position in which you put your mouse on the scroll bar affects the number of lines that it scrolls. So if you actually hold down a mouse button like this, you can see it scrolls kind of at a certain speed. But if I move it, it can actually increase the speed or decrease the speed. So this can be really useful if you have a very large file that you're looking at. This one's not particularly large, so it doesn't make a huge difference, but I just wanted to show you some of these gestures. So that's about all that I wanted to show you today. I uh, hope that it's useful. Thank you.